mother. Oh, welcome to Port Charles. Uh, at last. It's been way, way too long. Much too long. Oh, you look wonderful. Well, thank you. So do you. I look a mess. I don't know what they do to the air in those planes. There's not a drop of moisture in it. My skin feels like sandpaper. Are you kidding? You look so much younger than I expected. You're much too kind, but enough about me. I can't tell you what a thrill it is to see you again. Imagine, after all these years, reunited with my son. <laughs> Exciting. Me too. You know, you're almost the way I pictured you. Now, I was wondering how you picked me out so fast. Oh, it was easy. You look exactly like my father. You know, I've always been curious of who I look like. Remind me to show you a picture of him. Talking about pictures, yours don't do you any justice. You know, you are beautiful. Well, thank you. Uh, you've turned into quite the charmer, haven't you? Well, I've been working on it, especially since I've come to Port Charles. I imagine most of the eligible young ladies in town are beating a path to your doorstep. A few of the ineligible ones, too. Like father, like son. You know, I can't wait to show you off to everyone. Everyone can wait. All I want to do is have my son all to myself. That's fine with me. What's wrong? It's truly remarkable. What is it? Hey, the way you look like my father. Is that good or bad? He was the handsomest man I ever knew. You know, I want to know all about him, among other things. We have a lot of catching up to do. And all the time in the world to do it. I uh, imagine you are anxious to hear the story about how I had to give you up when you were a baby. <laughs> well, I think it's a good bet that it would come up in conversation. Oh, fine, but later, okay? Right now. All I want to do is look at you. Can you look over the baggage claim area? Because if we don't get there real soon, you'll be wearing my clothes while I'm oh, poor Charles. I'm terribly huh? sorry. I was so excited about seeing you, I forgot all about my luggage. You know something? Having you in poor Charles is a dream come true for me. Come on. Well, here we are. Oh, home, sweet home. Jimmy Lee? It's darling. Uh, well, I'm glad you like it. Ooh. Not bad for a guy who spends most of his time at work, is it? Fresh flowers. Do you get them every day? Every day my mother's here. You are so sweet. Thank you. Jimmy Lee, what are you doing back already? Oh, is there something you haven't told me? I wish. I wish I'd known you were going to be back so soon. I wanted to be all through by the time you're... Too late. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, mother, this is uh, Celia Andrews. Celia, this is my mother, Beatrice. How do you do? Hello. It's a pleasure meeting you, Beatrice. Mrs. Lesser. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I wish I could say I've heard a lot about you, Mrs. Lesser, but I really haven't. I do know, however, that Jimmy Lee is just thrilled to have you here. Have you worked for him long? Uh, about as long as it takes to redo a bedroom. <laughs> I am just about done. I just have one last curtain panel to put on the window. You mean you finished the bedspreads already? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes, and they look quite marvelous, if I do say so myself. Well, you ought to know. Yes. <laughs> well, give me just two minutes and the bedroom will be all set. Well, no, no, come on. Take your time. Take it easy. Jimmy Lee, I, I must tell you how much I appreciate your arranging all this for me. Well, don't thank me. Thank Celia. She's done all the work. I'm afraid I was never trained in the homemaking art. That was always left to the help. Oh, well, I enjoy it. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I can barely thread a needle myself. Oh, but you sure know how to make a point, don't you? Well, I will just be going in the other room and tidy up, if you don't mind, sir. Yeah. You didn't tell me you had a housekeeper. <clears throat> uh, I think there's uh, a lot we have to talk about. Apparently. Uh, Miss What's-Her-Name is a pretty little thing, though, isn't she? Wherever did you find her? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. She's rather attractive in a simple sort of way. How do you mean? I mean, for her. Why? Well, she obviously fancies you, but of course she's hardly in your class. But I rather imagine you have gold diggers like her running after you wherever you go. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking of getting an unlisted uh, bank account number. Being a quartermain has its advantages, as I'm sure you've already found out. Well, we'll talk about that some other time. Uh, right now, uh, let's talk about how was your trip. I want to thank you for everything, huh? Oh, my pleasure. Wait till you see your work. 
She's our resident artist. How nice. Oh, do you do those lovely plastic figurines? Or maybe you do those lovely paintings in velvet? Uh, no. No, neither, I'm afraid. Her specialty is interior design. I can imagine. Well, it has been very nice to meet you, Mrs. Lasseur. Uh, now I'd better get going. She don't want to stay around for a drink. Oh, Jimmy Lee, I'm sure Celia has other things to do. Yes, actually, your mother's right, Jimmy Lee. I have to go home and cook dinner. A woman's work is never done, you know. Well, I'm sure I'll be seeing you. If not, it was lovely to make your acquaintance. Oh, and best of luck with your art. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. And, uh... Did you, uh, have to lay it on so thick? I don't know what you're talking about. I admire the girl. I think it's nice to have talent when you're forced to make your way in the world. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, Celia does have talent. Why don't you go into the bedroom and take a look for yourself? I don't mind if I do have a peek. But I'm warning you, the first souvenir ashtray I see, I move straight into a hotel. How about if I make us a drink? Make mine a strong one. It's been a long day. Great. Oh, dear. Well, I must admit, your girl has a certain flair for design. My girl? Yes. And her sense of color is extremely striking. She does know what she's doing. I told you. Celia was trained in Paris. Really? Mm hmm How could she afford that? I don't know. I guess you'll have to ask her. You know, I wanted the best for my mother. What do you mean? Well, didn't you notice that uh, the drapes and the bedspreads were designed and installed by Quartermain? You mean this girl works for the Quartermain? No. I mean this girl is a Quartermain. I had no idea. I noticed. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? How's that? <clears throat> you know, I thought there was something about her. Yeah, hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Oh, I can smell those, that family a mile away. Young, talented, and a quarter man. <laughs> that Celia could make quite a catch. Unfortunately, not for you, though. What a shame you should be related. Well, it's actually not close enough to make a difference. Oh. Yeah. We see, uh, Quentin, her father, is Edward's second cousin, which makes Celia's Edward third and makes me a fourth, if you're counting that far down the line. Obviously, we've been giving it a great deal of thought. It's crossed my mind some time ago. What happened? Her husband objected. I see. Actually, it was her husband to be at the time. What has Celia being married got to do with anything? I found out the hard way. This seems like the sort of story a son ought to tell his mother. Well, there's really not that much to tell. I had a thing for Celia, and I think she had feelings for me for a while, I guess. At least that's what I thought. But she uh, didn't agree, huh? No, I don't know. It's just that uh, when I gave her a choice, she picked the other guy. This, um, Andrews. Yeah, well, his name was Putnam at the time. He changed his name? He had to. But that's another long story I'll get into some other time, if, if you're interested. Oh, I am very. Anyway, we're just, uh, strictly friends now. I wonder. What are you getting at? Well, she seemed delighted to have something to do in your bedroom. Mother, don't read anything too much into a favor. How about a glance? Several, as a matter of fact. I saw the way the Celia Quartermain looked at you. Andrews. Andrews, Celia. Andrews. Not if you put your mind to it. <laughs> 